people often complain of how taxes wipe out a huge portion of their income. This is true because not many people know that they can save tax with proper tax plan. Tax planning helps to reduce your tax liability and in turn also helps you save your hard earned income. Hello and welcome, I am Eta from Tia. Tax planning is a completely legal process by the way, but it involves several steps which is sometimes be challenging for a lot of us. This is exactly what PFT or tax strive to do, simplify taxes and finances fee. Subscribe to our channel for simple explanations. 2022 has gone by and there is not much you can do about the taxes that you paid in that year. But let us prepare for 2023 before it is too late. The very first thing you must do is select the most suitable and beneficial tax regime. Taxpayers are given a choice between new regime and the old regime. This has led to more confusion than convenience for many. You can use our calculator to find out the tax liability as per both regimes and know which one saves you more money. The link to the calculator is given in the description box below. All you have to do is enter your income details. It will automatically suggest you the most beneficial regime for you. If you end up choosing the old regime, you can save further tax by selecting the right investment options. However, most of these deductions are not available under the new regime. Now, if you opt for the old tax regime, let us discuss the last minute investments you could make before March end to save some taxes. Now, we all know about the 1.5 lakh rupees tax deduction limit under ATC, right? So, it, is, it has various investment options like LIC, PPF, NPS, fixed deposits and many more. The most convenient option for a way ATC deduction up to Rs 1.5 lakhs is through ELSS Tax Saver Mutual Fund. ELSS is nothing but equity linked savings scheme. These are mutual fund schemes that allow you to invest and save tax under Section ATC. You can invest in form of SIPs and each SIP will have a lock-in period of 3 years and will generally give you a return related to market of around 12-14%. to 14%. Now let's say you invest around 12,500 per month. This will do two things for you. One is full utilization of ATC limit. The second is disciplined savings. Since you are saving some money every month, which will compound your money after a few years. So you have achieved twofold objective. One is tax savings and the other is wealth creation. The next is Medicaid for parents. Most of us have Medicaid, but did you know income tax allows us to pay premium for our parents and get a tax deduction of it? So why not do it, right? If any of your parents don't fall in the tax lab, that is, they retired or homemakers, or if their income tax liability is lower than yours, then why not pay their premium and get tax benefits? Did you know your health checkup cost could save you taxes? A lot of us forget to put these in our declarations to the HR, but up to at least 5,000 spend room diagnostic or preventive health checkups can be claimed as tax deduction. So use them well and claim the deduction under Section ATP. Since we all know how important a term insurance is, buy one and claim that deduction. That is also a part of Section ATC deduction. So if you have term insurance, you can reduce the amount you put in ELSS since the total amount which is deductible is 150000 anyway. If your situation allows you to invest further, then you could also consider investing in National Pension Scheme or NPS, which will give you an additional deduction of 50,000 rupees. If your taxable income is high, you need to utilize this so that you can save up for your retirement as well as save some taxes. For people in their late 40s, FD or NEC is a better option as the lock-in period is just 5 years as compared to Public Provident Fund or PPF, whose lock-in period is 15 years. But it offers fixed returns of around 7 to 8% which is decided by the government. For people in mid-50s who don't want to take risks should opt for fixed return instruments such as fixed deposits which have been giving very stable and good returns or uh, instrumentary national savings certificate or public provident fund. While there are a thousand pages to the Income Tax Act, these were some of the best ways to save taxes in 2020. Combining a few of these strategies will not only help your long-term financial plan, but they will also help reduce your current year's tax bill. If you have more questions related to tax planning, then leave us a comment below. We'll get back to you short. And also, don't forget to like this video and stay tuned for more such informative videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.